Good morning. We just morning. finished breakfast. Uh, we had a lovely, lovely breakfast, and we just had a nice long chat with the owner of this hotel and the company that we are going to be working with today. The weather's looking a little ominous this morning. It's been raining all morning. It hasn't stopped yet. It's a little bit of drizzle at the moment. We are currently on the back of a game drive vehicle. <laughs> so just got a five minute drive to the gate of the game reserve. We are hoping to see some beautiful wild animals, some hippopotamuses, and we're going snorkeling. Even though it's raining, who cares? We're still gonna do it. And then I think we are going to finish off the day or the full snorkeling with a bush picnic. <laughs> this obviously all depends on the weather. This is our guide Sky. Hey. <laughs> we have just stopped at the Isimangaliso Eastern Shores Gate and we have to fill out a couple of forms just for COVID regulations. Glad to know they're being safe and everything. because obviously the rhino poaching and rhino horn trade just to let you know the rhino is my favorite African animal <laughs> okay but I also like giraffes <laughs> and elephants oh, I love them all there's some rhino poo right next to us yeah so he was right next to the road I think this is the closest I've ever been to rhinos they're literally I 10 meters away cool Sky, this is a beautiful sighting. We're so close, I can hear them eating the grass. <laughs> it's amazing. Tell the fact about them dying every night. Our guide Sky was just saying that every single night in South Africa, about three or four rhinos die due to poaching. How's it? How's it? Good, good. Where's animals? Gazebo. Gazebo. Oh, they are afraid of rain. Yeah, they are. Right there in the distance, I don't know if it's here, if you can see it, is some buffalo. It's my first time ever seeing buffalo in the wild. Scar was just saying that these buffalo, these specific ones are disease free from TB, foot and mouth, etc. And some of them sell for over 17 million rand. The highest selling female buffalo was 32 million rand. We have already seen two out of the big five in South Africa. So we've seen rhino and we've seen buffalo. Let's hope we can see the other three. If you know what the other three are, put them down in the comments below. Yeah, before we see them. Oh my gosh, we're here, there's the ocean. Woo! Sabona! Hello! Kunjani! <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so this is so interesting. Normally you'd associate Africa with just dry, dry savanna, grasslands, bushlands, but I feel like I'm in the Vietnamese jungle right now. It is so lush and green down here. And best of all, we've got the game and all the animals on one side and we have the ocean right behind us. So let's go snorkeling. Okay, so as you can see by my glasses in the previous footage, it was way too crazy out there. There's no ways we were going to be able to snorkel today. But we are going to try our very best to come back and do it maybe tomorrow or the next day if the weather is better. But yeah, it was crazy out there. Beautiful beach though. We're at Cape Vidal Beach, which is the most popular beach here in St. Lucia. And it is stunning. And this whole park is stunning. It's just... Yeah, we're gonna come back, we're gonna come back, we're gonna do it. <laughs> but now we are about to have our little picnic. Here's our game vehicle. Here's our picnic. Different dates are a little bit different. So I got a nice cup of warm rooibos tea. If you watched our COVID vlogs, you know I love my rooibos. Missed it so much. And then we've got this thing called a cook sister. All South Africans will know this, but it is just basically a very sweet batter covered in syrup. It's delicious. We've got three naughty torties that are coming to try and get our food. Monkeys. We have to keep our eyes on all corners right now because there's about four of them. One in each tree. And they're slowly making their way closer to our table with all the food. And apparently they, they also like to steal cameras and phones and glasses. No different to the one in Thailand that stole my sunglasses out of my bag. Don't worry, I did get them back. <laughs> in the back tree over there, can you see that that monkey looks completely different than that monkey? Yeah. It's a very special monkey to this area called the Samango monkey. Huh. Also, one of the only parks in this area that you'll find these type of monkeys are very endangered. These ones, the vervet monkey, is far more common vervet monkey or just another monkey. But yeah, there's only a hand or a couple of thousand of these monkeys left in southern Africa. Wow! Those are some anger monkeys. So that snorkeling wasn't successful, but we're gonna do it all on Monday again. But for now, we are on the hunt for some elephants because we can see some elephant droppings and some broken branches. We're really hoping we can see elephants. I think I can even smell them in the air. Oh. Pick up their scent on the wind. We're stopping. Oh, we're stop oh it's a little monkey for now. Hey, monkey! much come back about two two and a half weeks ago that's the first signs that our summer is on its way Yay. Huh. awesome got a clip. that's a yellow billed kite in the tree up there they've just arrived back in South Africa after migrating up north of Kenya for the summer up there but they've just come back down to South Africa to their home and that's the first signs to show that our summer is on the way that we have seen all three of the monkeys that you can see in this park all of the primates and then on the night drive we might see bush babies then we've really seen it all don't know if you can see but the weather is not permitting it is raining it's very cold and we are not able to do a lot of the things that are offered but we'll be doing it on Monday no worries then Elephant, elephant, rock elephant. Oh my gosh. Hello baby. Yay. Ellie, and it's raining. I think he loves it. <laughs> Little 
Park actually only offers four out of the big five. So we might get lucky and see a leopard on our night drive. Then we've seen the big four, well, the big four, and then lion are in a different park. So we won't be able to see that, yeah, but so that's far, okay. So far, considering it's bad weather, we've had a very good day of spotting animals. Yeah. So very happy about that. Awesome. home sweet home a bit earlier than expected no worries uh, thank you so much water. Scott for everything you've been amazing only a pleasure thank <laughs> you guys all right so we just made it back from our game drive this morning what an unbelievable day it was the end of the game drive actually we we're supposed to have had a picnic either on the beach or at a nice picnic spot but unfortunately the rain really got in the way with that so go safaris and elephant lake hotel have been unbelievably amazing they gave us all the food that we were supposed to eat and we've brought it back to the hotel now we're sitting on our little patio having lunch and they have been so amazing really guys the hospitality the people, our game driver Sky and everyone has just been so accommodating. And we are going to do all of this again on Monday and show you guys a full full experience because unfortunately the rain got in the way of that. Yeah, definitely tune in again. It'll be in a couple of vlogs time from now because we are going to be vlogging every single day that we have here in St. Lucia. So tomorrow we're going on a boat ride. So that'll be in the next vlog. Yummy, yummy food. We have got a bacon and cheese croissant. Some potato salad a beautiful mixed fruit salad and we've got some pork ribs and some beef we call them frikadels but you'll know them as meatballs that's about it thank you so much to the person who prepared this delicious food it is awesome so chuffed <laughs> <laughs> so remember we told you guys that the hippos might visit us at the pool I wasn't joking, like they often come and drink out of the pool and that's a huge massive, looks like a male hippo. Crazy. Love. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you to see a hippo at our pool? 11, <laughs> maybe 12. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> After lunch we headed into the town to explore the main street and we were super surprised by the amount of shops here. From camera gear to restaurants to pharmacies and clothing shops, even camping gear and fully kitted out grocery stores. St. Lucia really has everything you need. So we just arrived at the St. Lucia estuary, just have a short walk from the parking. And we are hoping to see some flamingos, so crossing fingers we get to see them today. What's wrong? I'm scared. Don't worry. We just heard some hippos in the distance and Claire's very, very scared. And there's crocodiles here. Yeah, we could bump into a crocodile and a hippo at any moment, but it's okay. How's it okay? I mean, hippos are only the like most dangerous animal in South Africa. Anyway, this is just so beautiful. Careful. Sharks, crocodiles, hippos. Three of the most dangerous animals ever in my life, and three of the animals that I'm most scared of. Stay close. Keep your eyes peeled. Going into a little swampy area here. At least the boardwalk's like raised about half a meter. So crocodiles probably can't get up onto it. 
risking it for the biscuit just to see some flamingos, but it should be worth it, eh? What's wrong? We've made it to the end of the path and there's a little lookout here but we can't see the flamingos from our vantage point. We'll post a little story now that we captured on Instagram from a bit further down where we just saw hundreds of flamingos but they are pretty far in the distance. So again we'll try to come back on Monday or tomorrow and see what we can find. Good morning everyone, it's day two here in St. Lucia and I am happy to say that 